There was a, a sulfurous smell reported this morning with ash fall. Scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption. A volcano erupted in the Philippines covering the nearby towns in ash. We have seen or heard about various supervolcanoes across the world, ranging from massive ones like Yellowstone in the United States to smaller ones like Taupo in New Zealand. However, recent discoveries have unveiled the presence of a new supervolcano located in the Pacific Ocean, revealing the Earth's astonishing geological diversity. Back in 2019, an exciting discovery took place off the coast of the Philippines. Jenny Ann Barreto, a talented marine geologist, and her team stumbled upon a remarkable find an extinct supervolcano. The Apalaki supervolcano is situated deep within the Pacific Ocean, specifically in a remote region known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. This colossal volcano, hidden underneath the Pacific Ocean, left behind a caldera that surpasses the size of Yellowstone National Park, measuring a staggering 150 kilometers in diameter. But why are we talking about it now? Is there a disaster on the way? Let's find out. Underwater supervolcanoes. Underwater supervolcanoes, also known as submarine calderas, are awe-inspiring geological features hidden beneath the depths of the Earth's oceans. These immense volcanic structures possess the potential for catastrophic eruptions that can significantly impact both the marine environment and nearby coastlines. These colossal volcanic structures possess immense destructive potential capable of releasing massive amounts of magma, ash, and toxic gases into the surrounding water and atmosphere. Despite their submerged nature, Underwater supervolcanoes have the power to generate catastrophic tsunamis, alter ocean ecosystems, and even influence global climate patterns. The Apalaki Caldera and its formation. The Apalaki Caldera, a magnificent geological feature, finds its home in a region known as the Large Igneous Province, or LIP. These LIPs are distinguished by their intense volcanic activity, driven by hotspots that instigate the ascent of copious amounts of magma from the Earth's mantle. While the scientific community continues to delve into the economic nature of LIPs, they are actually widespread across the globe, presenting a captivating and ever-evolving field of study. In the case of the Apalaki Caldera, a remarkable event occurred that set the stage for its formation. An extraordinary surplus of magma began to gather around 48 million years ago, initiating a geological phenomenon that would shape the landscape for millions of years to come. This influx of magma persisted for a considerable period before gradually waning, finally ceasing around 26 million years ago. The Apalaki Caldera stands as a testament to the immense forces at work within the Earth, leaving behind a lasting imprint on the Pacific Ocean floor. The formation of the Apalaki Caldera showcases the dynamic interplay between the Earth's mantle and the planet's surface. As magma surged from the depths, it encountered oceanic crust, giving rise to a spectacle of volcanic activity. The accumulation of magma, unlike the steady and controlled flow seen in many volcanic formations, created a distinct and colossal caldera that dwarfs even the renowned Yellowstone Caldera. The process by which the Apalaki Caldera formed is a remarkable journey of geological evolution. The intense volcanic activity within the large igneous province triggered a gradual growth of the caldera. Eruptions characterized by non-explosive outpourings of basaltic lava blanketed the ocean floor, contributing to the formation that would become the Benham Rise. Over millions of years, this constant elusive activity steadily increased the height of the volcanic complex, transforming the Benham Rise to a prominent feature submerged beneath the ocean's surface. As time passed, the volcanic activity within the Apalaki Caldera underwent a significant transformation. The eruptions shifted from their once tranquil and elusive nature to become increasingly explosive. This transition unleashed a cataclysmic display of volcanic might, ultimately accumulating in the formation of an awe-inspiring caldera. Multiple collapse events and the development of ring faults further shaped the landscape, attesting to the tremendous power of the eruptions that occurred within the Apalaki Caldera. Following the caldera formation, the volcanic complex entered a post-caldera stage. While the volcanic activity subsided, subtle signs of resurgence emerged. Resurgent domes appeared, signaling a subtle reawakening within the dormant caldera. These post-caldera activities provided a fascinating glimpse into the complex life cycle of a supervolcano, the volcanic evolution. The volcanic evolution of the Apalaki volcanic complex is a fascinating journey through time, marked by three distinct stages. In order to gain a better understanding, we have to delve deeper into the phenomenon. The first stage of the volcanic evolution is known as the shield-building phase. 
During this period, the Apalachi volcano experienced non-explosive eruptions. Vast quantities of basaltic lava flowed out into the deep ocean floor, gradually constructing the bottom rise, a remarkable submarine volcanic feature. This process unfolded over millions of years, steadily increasing the height of the rise. It's remarkable to consider that the entire volcanic complex started its formation at a depth of 5.2 kilometers or 3.2 miles below the surface of the ocean. The relentless eruption of the basaltic lava built up the rise, shaping its distinct topography. As time passed, the volcanic complex entered its second stage, caldera formation. The eruptions that once flowed calmly transformed into explosive events of immense power. The escalating intensity of these eruptions eventually gave birth to a colossal caldera. The formation of the caldera was accompanied by multiple collapse events and the development of ring faults, which became intrinsic features of this volcanic structure. The sheer scale of this caldera, twice the size of Yellowstone, is a testament to the cataclysmic forces at play during this stage of Apalachi's volcanic evolution. After the formation of the caldera, the volcanic complex entered its final stage, post-caldera activity. During this phase, the volcanic activity subsided, but not completely. Small resurgent domes emerged within the caldera, indicating that volcanic processes were still occurring, albeit on a smaller scale. These post-caldera activities were the remnants of a once mighty volcanic complex residing in the fading embers of its volcanic past. Gradually, over time, the volcanic activity ceased altogether, leaving behind a dormant and magnificent feature, the Apalachi Caldera. Today, the Apalachi Caldera stands as a testament to the immense power and geological processes that shaped it. The volcanic evolution of this complex is a story of ancient eruptions, the construction of a massive caldera, and the subsequent emergence of post-caldera formations. The remnants of this tumultuous past can be seen in the ring faults and resurgent domes that define its unique character. Hey, if you're liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The Explosive Power and Impacts the explosive power of a supervolcanic eruption is the subject that sparks curiosity and raises questions about its destructive potential when compared to land-based eruptions. In the case of the Apalachi Caldera, an impressive geological marvel located deep within the Pacific Ocean, it's important to note that its eruption would have limited impact on surface dwellers. While the surrounding ecosystem would have undoubtedly suffered temporary devastation due to the release of volatiles, the depth at which the eruption occurred played a crucial role in minimizing the chances of significant damage. Unlike shallow sea eruptions, which have a history of causing catastrophic tsunamis, the Apalachi eruption, despite its scale as a supervolcano, would have caused relatively minor water displacement. The vast expanse of the ocean effectively absorbed much of the eruptive energy, preventing the formation of massive waves capable of wreaking havoc on coastal regions. This crucial factor distinguishes deep sea eruptions from their shallower counterparts, as the underwater setting significantly alters the dynamics of the eruption's impact. While the eruption's ash cloud would have affected the immediate vicinity surrounding the Apalachi Caldera, the consequences would not have reached the extreme levels associated with nuclear winters or widespread devastation. The dispersion of ash particles in the surrounding waters would have undoubtedly affected marine life in the area, leading to temporary disruptions in local ecosystems. However, the scale and intensity of the eruption were not substantial enough to trigger long-lasting and far-reaching consequences that would affect ecosystems beyond the immediate vicinity of the caldera. The depth at which the Apalachi eruption occurred played a crucial role in dampening its potential for widespread destruction. The immense pressure and temperature conditions that give rise to supervolcanic eruptions are significantly mitigated in the deep oceanic setting. As a result, the eruption's impacts are confined to a relatively smaller area, primarily affecting underwater ecosystems and marine life. The surrounding regions of the Earth's surface, including coastal areas and human populations, were spared from the direct fury of the Apalachi eruption. It's essential to acknowledge the power and magnitude of supervolcanic eruptions, as they are geological phenomena that command respect and awe. However, the specific circumstances surrounding the Apalachi Caldera eruption deep within the Pacific Ocean offers some reassurance for surface dwellers. While the underwater ecosystem undoubtedly experienced upheaval and temporary devastation, the overall impact on human populations and the broader terrestrial environment was limited. The Apalachi Caldera, nestled beneath the Pacific Ocean off the Philippine coast, is a captivating testament to the Earth's volatile geological past. Discovered by marine geologist Jenny Ann Barreto and her team in 2019, this dormant supervolcano boasts a massive caldera twice the size of Yellowstone, 
Its formation, characterized by intense volcanic activity and successive collapse events, tells a tale of explosive power hidden within the depths of the ocean. Although the Apalachi eruption would have had a limited impact on surface dwellers, the surrounding ecosystem would have faced temporary devastation. Today, the Apalachi caldera stands as a remarkable testament to the Earth's turbulent history, a solemn reminder of the powerful forces that shape our planet. What do you think of this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. And thanks for watching.